split squat. So in this one, we're gonna have both feet on the ground. So in this position, we're gonna have left foot forward, right foot back. Make sure our hips are square. So don't let that foot turn out to the side this way. In this position, it's very important that we make sure our hips are facing forward. Here, my torso is forward, but my hips are now facing this direction. So I wanna square my hips forward and see if I can maintain that position as long as I can during the actual movement. From here, two ways we can execute it. We can either go straight down towards the floor and come back up. But for the purposes of this movement, I want you guys to actually push yourselves forward. So we're gonna push a little bit forward, trying to push that knee as far forward as we can get with the heel flat, and then we're gonna come back up. When we're ready to load this exercise, after body weight, a couple different options we have. We can go dumbbell. We're gonna start with a dumbbell in the same side hand. Same rules apply, square the hips forward. And then we're gonna shift down and forward, driving that knee forward. If we need to widen the stance, we can do that as well and then back up. And we have on the exercise sheet there, if we need more weight, we can actually add a band with the dumbbell or just a band by itself. Band goes underneath the front foot, up over across the opposite shoulder. We set ourselves up in the same manner, square the hips forward, and now we can actually squat down and then come back up with band resistance. And then what we can also do too, which is in the program for that five gram on week one, we're gonna use an assistant holding onto something. So weight will be in the opposite hand, or the same side of hand here, hold on to the rack for support. We're going to squat down, driving that knee forward, using this as much as, as little as we need to to come up, and then drive back up here, pushing through both legs equally in that position there. 